I'm very influenced by my environment, the physical beauty, but also the peace and quiet. New York has its skyscrapers. Here, I have mountains. My name is Bob Schlesinger, and I'm a pianist, and I was born in Kansas, and I've been living in Colorado since I was 12. My father had a classical music collection, and there was a lot of, a lot of classical music going on. And uh, we had a piano in the house, I used to run my trucks across the keys. When I was a kid, I wanted to play the piano. That was clear, but I would sit down and just bang around and imagine I was really making up music. My mom put a piece of gold tape on the middle C and taught me how to play my country tis of thee. When I first started taking lessons, it was probably like any kid. You know, it was little classical pieces and John Thompson books and and all of that. And it wasn't like a, some, a, a duck to water or something. It was really the enjoying playing and playing with people that got me interested. There was a turning point when I was thinking about going to college and wasn't even sure if I was gonna go and not sure what I would major in. And a family friend said, well, what about your music? And it did not occur to me to major in music. As I started listening to jazz and listening to more of the acoustic tradition, the guy down the hall had Miles Davis from the late 50s, very accessible. And then I had a teacher teaching me these things and all of a sudden I could start figuring out what was going on and exploring it. Then I started increasing my palate, if you will. I think I was drawn to the music and wanted to be better. My ears were being opened up left and right. Music is really about self-expression, and if you view it as a language, there's a lot of different dialects and ways of expressing yourself. I've learned dialects of blues and R&B and funk and jazz and modern classical music. And it's interesting to me to draw on all of those as I try to express myself more fully. My love for jazz started really in hearing fusion in, when I got to college and the guys in the dorm were listening to Chick Corea and Herbie Hancock and Weather Report. That was the access because I'd been into rock and roll and this was really interesting. Then the guy down the hall that had Miles Davis and Dave Brubeck. So that was coming in. And I started classical lessons again in college. And frankly, I wasn't that interested in studying jazz piano. I was looking for a rock and roll teacher, but there was no one that I knew that was teaching it. So I started jazz really as a default. Chick Corea was probably my biggest influence. There was also Bill Evans and Keith Jarrett. And then there was Elton John. He had an album in 1970 when he first came to the States that was just raw, powerful, blues, gospel rock. It was a power trio, and it still remains, I think, one of the best albums ever made. The strongest emotion when I first did at the piano is calmness, peace. There's an invitation, it's not, it's just open, it's space, it's possibility. Something emerges. I've been playing music for over 40 years, and much of that has been as a sideman, playing for someone else's agenda. When I can, I've been doing my own music. I want to take people on a journey Sometimes it may be comfortable, sometimes it might be a little challenging, but I want them to feel it was worth the trip. I believe that as a composer, a pianist, and an improviser,
that I have something to say. And now is the time to say it.